Two PC streaming is expensive. It's not something you can easily get into as a new streamer. But what if I told you I could help bring that cost down just a little bit? What I'm talking about is NDI. You can use it to send video and audio from one computer to another. And here's the kicker, no capture card required. I've personally been using NDI for about two years now and it's been a much better experience than using a capture card. Well, sign me up. How does it work? An OBS instance that's running on your gaming PC grabs a capture of your screen and sends it over to your streaming PC using your network. Now this doesn't come free of resource cost. It does cost a bit of your CPU to compress the video in order for it to be sent over your network. But in my opinion, it's better than OBS projector using a bit of your GPU instead. Realistically, there's only one requirement for this to work properly. You need both your gaming PC and your streaming PC plugged into the same network via ethernet cables. I've tried NDI over Wi-Fi, but it did drop quite a few frames, though your mileage may vary depending on the quality of your access point and the line of sight to it. Now let me show you how to set it up. If you don't have it installed already, you're going to need to install OBS Studio on both computers. There's a link in the description to download this. First, we're going to go through the setup of the gaming PC. In your web browser, go to the GitHub download page for the OBS NDI plugin. There's a link in the description for this. Click on the latest release, then download the Windows installer. Once downloaded, run through the installation process. The installation process is pretty self-explanatory, but feel free to follow along if you need. Once installed, open OBS. If you haven't already, you'll need to set up the OBS video settings. Go into Settings, Video, and set your base and output resolutions to the resolution you intend to stream at. Since we aren't doing any downscaling, select Bilinear Downscaling. Then, set the frame rate you intend to stream at. Apply the settings. Now click Tools on the top bar, and click NDI Output Settings. Tick the box that says Main Output. Feel free to name this whatever you like. Now create a display or game capture in a scene. If you want your gaming PC audio to also be sent over NDI, go to your OBS settings and set up your audio devices. That's the gaming PC all set up. Any video or audio in OBS here will now be broadcasted out to your internal network, ready to be picked up by your streaming PC. Now we're going to go through the setup on the streaming PC. You'll need to install the OBS NDI plugin on your streaming PC, just the same as you installed it on your gaming PC. Go back a bit in the video if you need a refresher on how to do it. Open OBS. In a scene that you want to show your gameplay in, add a new NDI source. Use the source name drop down menu to select your gaming PC. The settings that I show here are what I've had the best experience with, but feel free to experiment with them if you want. Click OK. And that's it. You should now be seeing the capture from your gaming PC show up on your streaming PC. Here's a hint for an issue you may encounter at some point. If a game or program that you're running begins to make your CPU reach 100%, you'll notice that the stream will start to look choppy or completely freeze. This is because NDI on your gaming PC isn't getting the CPU time it requires to consistently compress and send the video to your streaming PC. There is a way around this though. On your gaming PC, open Task Manager by right-clicking on your taskbar and selecting Task Manager. Select the Details tab. Now find obs64.exe in the list of running processes. Right click on it, hover over Set Priority, and select High. You can try real time, but you may encounter some issues with system responsiveness, as a process in real time priority will be a higher priority than the inputs from your keyboard and mouse. Since the OBS process has now been given higher priority than the game or program that's hogging your CPU, NDI should now get its request handled first, and your stream should look nice and smooth again. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you're interested in my streaming setup, I stream semi-regularly over at twitch.tv slash netto62. See you next time.